Hey everybody, welcome back to Charming Data. I hope you had a wonderful, restful week. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build a username and a password to enter your app. So we created this app um, dashboard uh, a few months ago. Um, look at the video above my head if you wanna learn how to create this app. Today, we're gonna to focus on building, um, using Dash authentication to create a username and a password in order to enter this app. So for example, here the username is Bugs Bunny and the password is going to be top secret. And if I end, oops, made a mistake there, Bugs Bunny, top secret. And now you can enter the app. And this is, this is on my local computer and we're also going to do it on the web as well. We're going to create username and password on both places. Um, and this is very uh, necessary um, for many people because sometimes you want to share your app only with your professor or your supervisor or your colleagues or maybe your favorite aunt and uncle um, and if you share a link that's on um, the web because that's where you, you deployed your app that link can easily by mistake be shared with the rest of the world and then and then your app is exposed to everybody else so by adding a username and a password to your app um, it becomes a little bit more secure and more private. Um, once you exit the browser, once you, uh, there are a few limitations. This is basic authentication, right? The limitations here are in this document below the video. Make sure you download it so you can follow along. And the limitations are here. Some of them are that this is, you cannot offer the user an opportunity to log in or log out. The user cannot choose a password or forget a password, you do everything for them. This is basic authentication that allows them to enter your app um, more privately. Um, once you entered it, if you open another tab, it's already, you're already logged in. The only way that you're logged out is if you close your browser and open your browser again, now um, you have to um, insert a username and a password again in order to enter the app. So let's see how we do this. Let's see, we're gonna do two things today. In part one, we're going to add the username and password to our local app, to our computer, which is right using this, um, this URL. So we can actually test it out and see that it works. And then we're going to see how to do the same thing, but on our app that we already uploaded to the internet using Heroku. Um, if you wanna see how to upload your app to the internet, click on the video above my, above my head and you can see how to upload your app to, um, to, to the web using Heroku. And here we are actually going to create um, a username and a password um, to, our, to our app. So it's a little bit more private. And then at the, very, at the very bottom, you have additional readings. If you wanna do authentication that's a bit more um, advanced, um, with Flask or with, uh, uh, I think it's Google login, um, that you can read on your own and try to develop that as well. All right, so let's start. The first thing you want to do, open this document. You'll see we're gonna go over username and password in the local app. So open this document and open um, any any dashboard you have. I'm gonna go over this this code that I already created, datatable.py, that I already created a few, um, a few tutorials a few months ago. I'm gonna share it on GitHub so you can download it if you want, but you don't have to use this. Use any other um, um, uh, app or Python file that you created, an app file that you created, and you can follow along with me because it's fairly simple. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure to pip install right here. Pip install dash authenticate. Uh, this is a version, the latest version, you can install this, or you can just pip install dash authenticate. So go open this, go into your, uh, it's going to stop this, it's going to terminal, uh, make this a little bit bigger so you can see. And we're gonna do pip install dash authenticate and just click enter. I think I already installed it, so you'll see requirements already satisfied, I'm good, but uh, you'll have to install it in your own, um, uh, virtual environment if you don't have it. So once you install that, you can actually close the terminal. And the next thing you have to do is import dash authenticate inside your app code. Okay, so this is the code that um, is building uh, the app. And inside here, add dash authenticate. You see this line here? This is what you need to add, okay, to your import at the very beginning. Um, 
uh, for this to work. And then the last thing you need to add is this, um, this four lines of code, all right? Um, this four lines of code is, um, and you can just copy paste, is, is where you choose um, the password and the username for your app. And you can choose multiple. Um, so see, look at this. We just do dash underscore authenticate. We're calling the basic uh, off uh, method. And then we have to put app in here because the app is what we defined here as we started our app. Um, this is the object, the variable that we defined. So you have to put app in here. And then we have to have a dictionary where the keys are the username and the key value is the password. So I created two different um, uh, usernames and passwords. One is Bugs Bunny, another one is Pajaro Loco uh, with this type of, of password, all right? That's all you need to do once you do that. Yep, that's all you need to do. Once you do that, you can run your app. Let's save this and let's go all the way to the bottom. I'm using PyCharm. You can use um, anything else you wanna use. Put play or run, I always say play. And then um, click on, oops, click on this. And now you have, let's put our username and password. So our username is gonna be, let's do the other one. Let's do Pajaro Loco, which was right here, all the way up. Let's do Pajaro Loco and Un Secreto is the password. So Pajaro Loco, I'm gonna put a different password, see if it works. No, you see it long, it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna put Pajaro Loco and then I'm gonna put Un Secreto, enter. And now you see that I've entered my app. All right, and like I mentioned before, if I open another tab, oops, same app, um, it will it will still be logged in. Only if you close your browser and open it again, you will have to re-enter your username and password. Okay, so this is how you test it on your computer. This is how to make sure that it works on your own local computer. Now let's see how we do it on on using Heroku after we deployed our app to the web. Um, okay, so um, this is just a notation that your app should have been deployed to the web. Just in this tutorial, I already deployed this app to the web right here. So I'm gonna go over that app that I already deployed. Um, if you need to see, again, how to deploy an app to the web, then just look at the video um, above to see how to deploy an app to the web using Heroku. Um, but once you did, I already did that. So now I'm going to I'm going to take this URL and I'm going to add a username and a password to it. So it's only accessible once the user puts that information in there. OK, so how do we do that? The first thing you want to do is go to your project folder. I'm going to go to the um, authenticate folder on my um, in my project. My project folder is authenticate user. This is where all my app is located. I'm going to go in there. Let's actually close this, close the data table, terminate. Okay, so I'm inside my project folder, right, right here. And now, authenticate. And now, what's the next instructions? Open the terminal. Oh, I gotta open the terminal, open the terminal right here. And here, the next step is to Heroku log in. What I'm actually doing here is also instructions on your Heroku. So you can also, this right here, and then this right at the very bottom, these are all instructions that also exist on your Heroku. So if you go to the Heroku app, you go to the deploy tab, these are the instructions that are the same, they're right here, okay? So I just copy paste it. We're gonna go Heroku login. Let's do login on our, in our terminal. Click any button and click it, log in. And I think we're already logged in, perfect. We can close it. The next thing we need to do is to clone. We're gonna Heroku get clone a your app name. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy it here a, and your app name. Let's make this a little smaller. Space. Make sure you have a space there. And my app name is right here. Where is it? Over for my mother. So I'm gonna copy this for my mother is your app name, like that. Enter. And now you're cloning your app, all the all the files and documentation in your app to the project folder, right? So you're calling where you are, because I'm right inside in authentication. So now if I close this, make this a little bit bigger. If I close this and open it again, now you'll see we have my for my mother file here, because I just cloned it from the web. So now I go inside here, let's see what's the next step. 
Um, now I CD into this first, I got a CD into the folder I just created because right now in my terminal, I'm inside the authentication folder. But now that I cloned it, I want to CD into my mother folder for my mother folder, CD into the um, thing that I just cloned for my mother, the project folder. Perfect. And now I have to add dash authenticate and request to your requirements text. So remember the requirement text, which is this one right here, which we created originally in order to um, tell Heroku what libraries to install on their server for the app to function. Now we have to add two libraries that originally did not exist. These two libraries are dash authenticate. I'm going to put 1.3.2 because this is the latest version. So just add that here, right here. I think it's alphabetized. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So we have dash. We'll add here at dash authenticate. This is their requirements.txt. We're going to add this and we're also going to add requests. I'm not sure why, but you have to add the requests library into the requirement text dot text request right here. It's right here. Request. All right. So you just copy paste. Make sure it's equal equal. So it, so it works and you have a dot here. Make sure it's exactly the same as it's written here. If it's you see this video in a few months, you can you can probably download. Um, I put a higher version in here, a more recent version. But make sure your requirement text um, file have these two um, libraries in them. All right. And OK, so we just I'm going to save this. You see here on the very left, we just updated the, the requirements.txt um, file. The next step is to open the .py file from the cloned project. So we're going to open it right here, the data.py file from inside Go My Mother, right? And here, let me make it a little bit bigger. And here we have to do the same thing we did above. We have to add import dash authenticate. So we're going to import that in here because that we do not have that on our Heroku app. We have to add these these lines as well. The the username and the password below the. Make sure you have server equals app server. You need this in order for your app to function on Heroku. I already had it under here. Just um, copy paste this. This is our username and password. If you want another username, just add a comma and just add another key um, value. Okay, so we added that, and then we have to make sure this is app run server debug. False. I usually um, it should be false or it causes some problems. So go all the way at the bottom. If this is true, just make sure to change this to false. All right, because you don't want your app to be debugging itself while it's live and your colleagues or your professor is seeing it. So just make sure to change this to false and save. All right. So you made these three changes: the false, the usernames, and the import dash authenticate. You saved your file, and now you can just close it. All right. So we change the data table.py, the main uh, app uh, file, and we change a document and we may change the requirements. And now we can just upload it back or push it back to Heroku. So we'll go down, we'll do git add, go into your terminal, make sure you're inside your, um, your app folder because that's where you have app project because that's where you have to do it. Let's make this smaller a little bit. One second, move that up. Oops. Okay. Git add. And now the next step is to uh, get add commit, uh, adding authentication. I'm going to put this here. You can change the message if you want to something else, but that's the message I want. The note, get add authentication, enter. And now you'll see that it says two files changed because we changed those two files, the requirements and the fi uh, pi file. And then we just have to push to Heroku. All right, go back here and now the smaller push to Heroku, you see like that. And then just click enter. Okay. So now give it just a minute. It's going to push everything into Heroku. Okay. So it's done everybody. Um, I just, um, it took about five minutes on my computer. It gives you the link here again. You can click on it. And now you see that um, the app that is on Heroku with this link has a username and a password. You can cancel it, but it'll say login required. So if you refresh, now you can put any of the two passwords. You can put any username, password. We'll enter. See, it doesn't work. But if I put um, pajaro loco, and the password was un secreto, 
Now you see that it's going to work. Or the other username and password, which was Bugs Bunny and Top Secret, and it would also work. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe below, and um, I hope you also join my Charming Data um, Patreon community. Um, this uh, really helps me create more tutorials and um, and uh, high level um, Python analytic uh, web apps. Uh, it just you know it just helps me very much. So I hope you can consider it. Um, have a good day. Always remember uh, we're better together. So help each other out.